All right, we found some crazy information on this bike since the last video. So the seller that sold it to the seller that sold it to me actually reached out and said he had some important things to share about this bike. Let me go read them to you. This is what he said. He sent it to uh, my Facebook. He said, hey, I saw your recent YZ125 video. That was my old bike. It's not an O2, it's a 96. It sat for 15 to 20 years outside before I got it. I started to work on it with new plastics and that seat cover. Nothing else was done to it. Piston was seized and got freed up with some penetrating oil. The oil was drained. It was basically white toothpaste. There's no way he rode it around as it's in the exact same condition as when I sold it. I actually traded it for a Raptor 660, which that seller said ran a couple weeks ago. But there's no way as everything on the Raptor was seized. I wish you the best of luck with that bike as it's definitely a rough one. Enjoying the video right now. And then he sent pictures for proof. So there it is. So that means that the seller that sold it to me just completely lied through his teeth on this bike. The first lie was that it was listed for an 02 and it's a 96. He knew that because the seller that sold it to him told him it was a 96. So that was the first lie. The second lie was, was that this thing ran, I think he said last year, go watch the video again. I think he said his brother was riding it last year, put it away running and driving. There's no way that could ever be possible. The carburetor was so, so bad. One of the worst carbs I've ever seen. So that probably hasn't been clean in, like the guy said, 20 years. Um, so yeah, the seller just lied to sell it. And uh, that's unfortunate. A lot of dishonest people out there. Last video, we actually got this thing to fire up, which knowing that information now, I cannot believe this thing fired up. So we cleaned out the carb, new spark plug, we drained the oil in the engine and it was completely white. It was horrible. Um, we fixed the rear brake. The rear brake was locked up. The piston on the master cylinder here was stuck out. We freed that up and now the rear brake is working. The front brake master cylinder, we ordered one up. We've got that coming. Um, but you can see that's horrible in there. So we need to get the new one on today and get that bled. It was missing the air filter, so we got a new air filter for it. And the wheel bearings are absolutely horrible. I think this bike was underwater for like a really long time because that bearing right here was completely rusted out. You can see it was just completely missing. So we got new wheel bearings for the front. And here are the parts over here. We also got a couple grips for it because one's on there ripped. So, today's goal is to make this into a running and rideable bike. Let's get going on it. I have a feeling that this one might not ride the greatest. <laughs> Let's get this front wheel off first. Guys, it was just completely missing. So, good thing we're changing them. I got this hammer just for the people in the comments. Check that bad boy out. <laughs> so I don't want to hear another comment about the claw hammer. Because I do read all the comments. This thing needs to be greased up badly. Horrible. I know a couple people in the comments said this bike must have fell through the water and sat there for years and years to be that rusty and I agree. It looks like uh, somebody maybe rolled this on the ice. You can see the stud holes on the tires. So I'm thinking what happened was maybe they went through some thin ice and they left it in the water for a couple days and then took it out and just let it sit wet for years and years and years and never touched it. It's kind of what I'm thinking, but. All right, let's get this wheel out. There's that bearing. Oh, I think the other one's in here. Yeah, it was just completely missing. But that spacer goes in there like that. So we'll get the old one out. Punch that through. 
clean that out, grease that up. Let's try to punch this bearing out of here. Just broke apart in my hand here. You can see how rusty this thing was, so it definitely had to be sitting in water for a long, long time to get like that. You can see how rusty this area is in here where the bearing sits, so let's get that cleaned up. Looks like the bearing race is still in there. Gotta somehow get that out. I don't know how we're gonna do that to rush it in. Might have to heat them up. You can see these are basically welded in. So those have to pop out of there somehow. So let's try to do that next. So there's no way of getting a screwdriver to pound that out. So heating it up wouldn't really matter because you can't get a screwdriver to pound it out. So what we're gonna do is try to take a Dremel, try to cut it in one spot and see if that loosens it up. So we can just try to chip away at that with a screwdriver and get that race out. That gap there. All right, I got a little piece to chip off right here, but that sucker is welded in. I tried heat, nothing was working, so I think we're gonna go to option number two. I've got this parts bike over here. I think we're gonna rob the wheel off of this one. See if that works. All right, here's the other wheel. Let's see if it matches up here. Oh, of course, that's stripped right out. Awesome. Huh, that's not good. That is not good at all. Darn it. And that's a different size bolt. All right, what we might have to do is punch on a smaller socket on here. Maybe a five eighths. It's not coming off that socket though.
Hammer's on there pretty good too. I don't know if it's gonna work. We'll get everything bolted back up and uh, front wheel will be good to go. All right, wheel spins now. It's a little better. You can see the brake's getting caught up a little bit on the rotor. I think the brake is probably stuck shut too a little bit. But now we can move on from that. New air filter. I don't think it's oiled up. Her gloves. He's got gloves to do it too. May as well use them. So, we can oil this thing up. Foam filter oil. Massage that in. And you want to let that dry until it gets tacky. All right, what I like to do is put some grease around here. A little grease around here. air filter it's installed and oiled up. Let's change out these grips. This one's really bad. That's seen better days. Right, I got some new grips here for like 15 bucks. I just like to use a little spit. Slip right on. Alright, both grips are on, looking good. 
All right, we got the new master cylinder here. Let's get that bolted up. I'll get this one off. Oh, I think that one's gonna break. how rusty this bike is. It's gotta be the rustiest bike I've ever worked on. Oh, you can see broke right off. Awesome. Let's see what the line looks like on the inside. Probably not great. This can go right in the garbage. All right, brand new one going on. That's the way to do it when stuff is so rusty, you can't save it. Let's get a brand new one. I think this thing was like 45 bucks. It's not horrible. I didn't go with the really cheap one. I think the really cheap ones are like 18. So hopefully this one will bleed. If not, we'll just rob it off of the other bike. That's what that's supposed to look like on the inside. <laughs> See some bubbles. some dripping out. All right, we've been trying to bleed this thing for like an hour, not doing anything. I'm guessing the seals and the caliper are junk. Big surprise. I'm guessing they're all rusty, and I'm guessing they're leaking past the seals, so. We might have to rob the one off the other YZ. But yeah, that sucks. I knew it was either the master cylinder or the caliper. So, that's not working at all. So I got wheel bearings for the rear as well, but I'm guessing we're gonna run into the same problem. 
you can see the slop in there. I don't know if I want to ride it like that. So I think what we're going to do is swap out this one here. I think that's really our only option. The bearings are in here. Oh man. Yeah, they're gonna be pretty bad. This out. Oh, this is definitely the wrong bolt for it. <laughs> oh man, this thing is rough. went to work. Oh, that bearing is completely gone right there. Oh. <laughs> Look at that bearing. Holy. This thing had to have oh, just been flooded out. I mean, come on, that is horrible. Looks like it might. So we got the back wheel on, we had to swap out the rotor. You can see the one we swapped over was smaller. Uh, the one on that bike right there was bigger. And of course, <laughs> we had to drill out a couple of the bolts because they were so rusted on, so that took a while. And uh, I'm really regretting buying this bike. <laughs> Every single bolt I have to spray down with penetrating oil is a regret. It's taken so long to work on this thing. So my chain and sprockets were supposed to come today and of course they're running late. So now we have to take a chain off a different bike and try to swap it onto this bike. So it looks like it's missing the guide here. <laughs> oh man, is this bike rough. All right, of course this bolt right here instantly stripped out for this guide. Had an Allen head on it. No longer does. Oh, I think it does. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. That one just broke off. Awesome. There's one down below here. Let's see if that one breaks off too. I'm going to douse that with penetrating oil. Like every other bolt. I did get one of them out without having to drill it out. Throw it on me again.
you gotta like really work it so it doesn't break. Get it. Ah. Ha. Ah. It's just corroded. All right, hopefully this fits on here. Probably won't. Should work. Roller guide completely missing. <sighs> this bike just gets better and better. All right, we robbed. Went off the other bike here. Good thing we've got the other bike. Otherwise, this one would be. Tough to get going. All right, that bearing is pretty bad right there. But we're gonna run it anyway. Because I'm past the point of carrying at this point. All right, that should be fine. All right, last piece to this puzzle, hopefully is the chain. See if it'll fit. Let's try to bring this a little closer. What are the chances these are stripped out? Oh man. Oh boy. I don't think that can go in any further. I think that's as small as it can go. Holy cow. I think we're gonna snap this off too. They just put like a regular bolt in there. Wow. Oh, let's see, this one's coming. This whole thing is coming out though. Yeah, they just, these aren't even tensioners, these are just a bolt. Supposed to be like that. So you can only tension it back. I think this is going to come out. All right, that came right out. Let's get the new one in. That one's a little better. It's not going to go in. I like that. 
that. She's in. <laughs> this one's the one that I'm worried about. All right, here we go. Look at, look at right here. Oh yeah. Let's see. All right, that sucker's all the way in. Let's get the wheel on, see if this chain fits. All right, it was meant to be. Look at that. Chain's a little tight, but she's gonna fit. Let's see here. Get her link in here. Ah, there we go. We're on. Look at all the stuff that came out of the swing arm when we were trying to get those bolts out. That's bad. All right, so we got the chain loosened up just a little bit. It's actually perfect. So I think we're good to go. Oh yeah, check this out. We're spinning smoothly now. So this bike is by no means pretty. Um, we just swapped parts from the other bike over to this bike and that bike was rough, but just not as rough as this bike. So we've got to bolt down the seat, get the plastics on, but first I want to see if this bike still runs. So let's see if she fires up today. Watch it won't even start. We've got fresh 40 to 1 in it. Let's see what happens. I 
I cannot believe it runs as good as it does. Idles and everything. That's uh, just amazing to me. Knowing that this piston was locked up to the cylinder at one point. <laughs> I'm guessing it's burning off all that penetrating oil that was stuck down the cylinder from the previous owner to get this piston free. <laughs> well, we'll get the plastics on, the seat on, and take it for the first ride attempt. <laughs> There's no way this clutch works either. Just no way. Those clutch plates have been soaking in water for 20 years, so we'll see what happens. I want to quick check and see if it's using coolant here. See if it's still topped off. Oh yeah, looking a little frothy though. <laughs> like it might be mixing with the oil. But it's all in there, topped off. So that's good, at least it's not dumping right into the engine. All right, well, the bike is all put back together. We have two wheels that actually move now. Bearings are getting those. And we have one brake that works. So, I think it's time for the official test drive. First ride in probably 20 years. But yeah, let's see if it moves. All right, let's see if she fires up at the land. We're gonna really warm this thing up, try to get that oil nice and hot so that that clutch works. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Smoky. Idle's oh, perfectly though. We brought the jet kit along just in case too. Doesn't look bad from far away. <laughs>
Here we go. First ride. <laughs> Clutch does not work. We'll have to get that freed up here. Is this thing running that good that is insane <laughs> how are the crank seals not bad this thing does not bog at all revs out completely super fast has tons of torque the only thing that does not work is the clutch the clutch is toast right now it doesn't even pull in it's just completely stuck so it's always kind of sketchy riding without the clutch because if the throttle sticks for some reason, the slide gets caught up in the carb, and you're going like 50 miles an hour, you have to bail, because there's no way of slowing this bike down. <laughs> so that's a little scary. But uh, yeah, other than that, it's riding great. The front brake still doesn't work, but the rear brake is working great. So really no complaints there. Suspension feels good. I just cannot believe it. This thing sat 15 to 20 years outside and it runs like this. I cannot believe it. Wow. 
and uh, the jetting is spot on. I mean, it sounds amazing, so we're not going to touch the jetting at all. Thing is running great. Starts first kick every time. Let's see if that smoking went away. That thing's snappy. Holy cow. Well, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, obviously, it needs a lot more work, but we've got a good starting point here where uh, it starts up easy and goes through all the gears. Let's get back home and take a look at that clutch area. I want to see if those plates are stuck. All right, made it back home. Let's take a look at that clutch, see what's going on. Also, let's take a look at that oil and see if that's still milky. <laughs> what the heck? That is nasty. There's gotta be so much water in there. How is that possible? It looks like pink milk. <laughs> nasty. <laughs> that is uh, not good. Those water pump seals have to be bad. Wow. Yeah, that oil smells absolutely awful. That is really bad. That is a nasty smell. Let's come off of here. What is going on with this clutch? What the heck? No wonder that wasn't working. Holy. The whole clutch is like coming apart here. Something's broken in here. Oh, huh. what the heck? The whole clutch is coming out. What is going on here? Okay. All right, the whole basket's coming out. I don't think that was ever on. I think the bolt came off. Jeez. I'm surprised it didn't even shift. We are so lucky that didn't lock up on us. Wow. So this just came out like that. So that wasn't even attached. It does have a Henson clutch basket in it. Wow. All right, let's go take a look at this clutch, see what happened. I think the, I think the nut came off. These bolts stayed tight. Sure, those clutch plates are completely stuck. Let's see. This 
not bad. Basket looks good. So, that's why that wasn't working. The nut just came off. Yeah, so, this sits in here like this. And I never lock that nut down. See that? These sides should be folded over that nut to keep that from backing off. That's why you do that, because that's what happens. And then your clutch doesn't work. We are really lucky that did not just wreck the whole clutch side of the engine there. This nut was just free floating in there. That's crazy. Oh, look at these plates too. They're like welded together. Wow. Yeah. Look how rusty. Wow. Well, that's why. Oh, look at all the rust in there. Well, that's why the clutch isn't working. Oh. Jeez. There's no oil on this at all. Yeah, that's why it didn't work. That's where the smell is coming from. It smells horrible. Those are really stuck on there. Oh. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, this bike was really in rough condition. Let's get all these off. Yeah, it definitely needs new clutch plates. Holy. I don't think I've ever seen clutch plates that bad before. I don't know how this engine's running, to be honest. I mean, it is bad. Yeah, those would have never freed up on their own. Inner basket looks pretty good. So yeah, we just need new clutch plates. I mean, those are toast. So I'm really happy we looked at the clutch when we did. Because a second longer, I think we would have wrecked the whole clutch side of the engine. Well, that wraps up the first ride on the 1996 YZ125. This bike has definitely seen better days. It is probably right up there with the worst conditioned bike I've ever seen. Every bolt is rusted on. Every single spot on this bike is rusty. Uh, the only good thing it has going for it are the plastics and the new seat cover, because they're brand new. Other than that, it is a completely beat up bike. Somebody just neglected this, and I think what happened was, like I said before, they were ice racing it, went through the ice, and they just let it sit with water in the cases, and uh, everything just rusted. Surprisingly, it doesn't look too bad in there, but you can see some rust on some of the parts forming. So, I'm just really surprised the crank seals are still intact. Actually, speaking of crank seal, Look what I see coming out right there. <laughs> Literally, I can push that back in. Look how far out that crank seal is. <laughs> that is crazy. So, um, <laughs> that was about to pop out too. So yeah, we need to take off this whole side cover and put new crank seals in, new clutch in and uh, get a couple more parts for it. What a money pit. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Stay tuned for next video, and until next time, we are out.